Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airburst Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own stencils on a Cricut cutting machine. I'm gonna show you what material I use and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do with inside the program of the Cricut to make your own stencils. First, the machine that I use is a Cricut Explorer Air 2. It's about $180 depending on what craft store you get it at. The stencil film I like to use is the matte stencil film um, by Graphics. It isn't clear. What it means by matte is you can't see through it. Um, it's kind of like a fogged or a matte finish, and I really like that. Um, I like this because it's a little thicker than a lot of your other products out there are very, very thin. I like this one. It's a little bit thicker. Uh, it's about 7 mil, I believe. Um, you get four sheets in here, 9 by 12. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's worth it. When I mean by pricey, it's about $12 for four sheets, but I mean how many you're really gonna cut, um, unless you're gonna mass produce them. You can probably buy the stuff by the roll, but um, you know, for your average airbrusher, you wanna cut out a couple templates um, to have for many, many years. This is the stuff that I recommend to get. Um, along with your Cricut, um, you're gonna have a couple cutting mats. This Cricut here does 12 by 12 mats. Um, this one here is a light grip mat, and then they also have a standard grip mat. Um, either one will work. I just chose to you know, choose to use the light grip mat. So what I'm gonna be showing you today is I'm gonna take you into the laptop, and I'm gonna show you the program on how to run this Cricut and how easy it is, and um, where to pull off uh, free stencils from the internet um, to be able to download into your computer and cut them out on your machine. So with that, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Cricut Design Center. Once you're in there, um, you're going to upload an image. Now, what I did was I went out to um, the Internet, and I'm going to drag and drop this one from my desktop. And I went out to Chuck Bermans of ChuckBermans.com, free realistic flyer fire templates. He has several other ones in there, all kinds of templates. As you can see, it's free for use by all public domain. So, uh copyright free so um you know for simple things and you know maybe just a new template something i like to you know when i see on there i'll go and download that i like to use a jpeg format you can use any of these file formats but i like the jpeg just personal preference um i also like when i want to do a custom template i'll just make sure that i use when you when you draw the, your lines you don't want to like you know little little strokes of lines you want one single line going around to make your template um on your piece of paper you want to scan that in uh again i scanned it in as a, J, uh, a jpeg um from my printer once i do that you can just upload it the same way here um so for this particular uh, example we're going to be using this i'm going to pick moderately complex there's simple moderate and complex i never really use simple i usually just stick to moderate now, if I have something something really complex, which I do sometimes come up with really complex uh, templates for uh, certain things I'm doing, um, I will use the complex. So let's hit continue. Okay, so now what you want to do here on this screen is you have a couple different tools up here. You have select and erase, you have an erase, and you have a crop. Okay, well, we don't need to crop anything, but we do need to erase out what we don't want. So we only want to leave what we want to cut. So I'm going to select this tool right here. Um, this is one that looks like the little one and I'm going to click in here and as long as my lines are all connected it's going to delete out all what's in there now the Chuck Berman's and the text needs to be taken out so I'm going to take this erase tool you have you can make this thing very very small that cursor or you can make it very very large so this is how you you can okay so now that's too large because I what you don't want to do is you don't want to delete out some part of this line here. You want to make sure you do not delete out those lines because you'll put a break in it and you don't want that. Now, what you want to make sure is that you have all of the lines gone in here because if not, they will show up when you uh, upload this to your project or to your canvas and uh, your cutter will cut into it at that point it's not a big deal if it does um, but sometimes it's hard to see here and you'll see it when you upload it's so, all right 
So your next step is you want to hit continue. Now, gives you two choices here, save as a print, then cut image, and save as a cut image. Well, I don't really care to print this. I have no need to print it, so I'm going to save it as just a cut image. Now you can see this is going to be my template material, and this is what it's going to cut out. Okay, so with that, we'll hit save. I'm going to go to Project New, Replace. Here's my canvas. I'm going to upload this one right here, the one we just did. Okay, it uploads it onto our, let's go full size. So what this gives you is inches horizontally and inches vertically. So what I really like about this, and look, I order lots of templates out there on the internet either stencils I, I love them okay and the guys who make them do a great job but what I like about this when I want a custom template is I can size this however big I want it up to 12 inches because my cutter here uh, can take a 12 by 12 sheet okay but that's what I really really like about this is that you know I'm not just stuck to one size so I can size this however I want so in this case Okay, I can size it just by dragging it, and it will give me the dimensions of what I got vertically. But horizontally here, as you can see, I'm okay vertically, but horizontally, I'm no good. Okay, so let's just bring that in to, let's bring it into about 11 inches. Let's actually go 10. Okay, now, all right, so this is space of 10 inches right now, okay? But what you got to realize is, so your template it's coming up, uh, it's going to be somewhere around here, somewhere around here. So let's just call it one and a half to, um, let's just say nine. So that is going to be seven and a half inches across. So your template right now, your fire template is going to be seven and a half inches across by approximately mm, five inches high. All right. So. Now, what you could do up here is there's a size. So you got a width and a height. So that says 10.028. So if I just want to make that an even 10 inches, okay, if I hit enter, your height will automatically size. So I'm right on 10 inches. So you can set your height right by this too, um, which is nice. So once you have that right where you want, all you got to do is hit make it. Now, this is where um, I'm going to switch onto the camera here, and I'm going to show you um, how to stick this to um, the cutting board and cut this thing out. All right, so once you've got everything in your computer, you're going to start with your cutting mat. Again, I have a light grip cutting mat. Standard works just fine, too. I'm going to take my uh, 9 by 12 here, um, temple material. I'm going to get it as straight as I can on that line. Uh, I'm going to go from 0 to 12. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Um, you're going to hit your button on your machine. Let's open up the doors. Okay, so now you're going to take your template material. You're going to stick it into your machine until it hits the rubber rollers. You're going to hit the arrow button. As you can see, it advances it a little bit forward. The head's going to go back and forth across. It's going to sense your material, see where it's at. Once it does, this screen comes up and says custom material set to foil acetate. Well, I don't want that. So I'm going to hit this arrow right here. I don't see any of the materials I want right here, so I'm going to say browse all materials. Okay, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to keep scrolling until I find plastic. When I find plastic, I'm going to set it to stencil film 0.4 millimeters, okay, and then I'm going to hit done, okay. So once I do that, I'm good. And what that's doing is telling the machine, first of all, what blade it needs, and second of all, what the pressure needs to be. So it tells you tools and material loaded, um, press go, that's all you got to do. So you got the C button right here for the cricket. You're going to press that. And 
it's going to do its thing. I'm telling you, cutting is done 100%. So cutting is finished, unload material. You're gonna hit your arrows again. It's gonna unload it. You're gonna see that your program is now done. You could hit finish and we're done. All right, so the next step is I'm gonna take this off my cutting board. It's my excess material. And if this cuts well, just like it did there, it should peel right off. Um, you shouldn't have to use an X-Acto blade or anything like that to cut into it. So there you have it. Here's your negative template. If you would so choose to have one of those for a fire template, you really don't need one. Um, There you go. As simple as that. A custom made fire template to your size specifications. All done with the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Um, can't say enough about it. I use it a lot. My wife even uses it for a lot of her art, arts and crafts. Um, it was just a great investment for my shop. Well, there you have it. I mean, I just wanted to show you today that you can make your own custom templates. What's really cool about this, with this particular machine, again, not sponsored by Cricut or anything else, it's just we happen to have one here um, in our home. A lot of other people use it in my home besides me. Um, so it's great for the whole family, but um, I do utilize it a lot by you know jumping in and making my own templates. Um, what I'd like to say again is that you can make them to any size you want, and that's the beauty of this thing. Um, so that's something very really simple, but I did want to show you something that is something as complex as this sunflower with the butterfly cut out here. Um, you know, it can do quite complex uh, templates. So, you know, this is a one-off custom template that uh, I wouldn't be able to get out there on the internet. And um, it's just a, a really cool device to have in my shop. With that, I hope you liked this video. If you did, Please hit the subscribe button, share it out, hit that bell so you get future notifications. Leave me some comments, good or bad. It really helps this channel build uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So with that, we'll see you in the next video.